Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Our final's coming up and I don't know anything about Lewis structures. I know, we're not gonna get these problems. I can't figure it out. The practice problems for diazine, diachloromethane, and even acetylene, I can't figure it out. We need help from Lewis and structure. I really think we do. So I heard you need some help, and I'm here to help. I love chemistry. All right, so um, how many valence electrons does carbon have? Four? Yeah, and how many carbons are there? One. Okay, so four times one. All right, um, how many valence electrons does hydrogen have? It has one. Okay, and how many hydrogens? Two. Okay, one times two is two. Um, how many valence electrons does chlorine have? That has seven, I think. Okay, that's right. Seven times what? Two. Okay, is a total of? Fourteen. Okay, and just sum those together. You get a total of 20. And here's where I'm stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Okay, so you just do carbon, that's your central atom, and then you have two hydrogens in the outer, and then you're gonna attach some chlorine. And now, you have to make sure it fulfills the octet rule and that your 20 electrons are present. So how many do we have already? Eight. Okay, eight. So we have a total of eight, and then we need to add more to, so that we get to 20. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, okay. That one's a little off. Okay. So that's how you do it. And now they're all stable because they, this has eight, this has eight, and the hydrogen fulfills its octet mm -hmm. rule. And keep in mind, these need single bonds mm -hmm. in order to stay stable. Okay, I think you cool. got it. So here we have diazine, which mm -hmm. is uh, N2H2. So how many valence electrons does nitrogen have? Uh, five. Five, that's correct. I was thinking about that, yeah. And <laughs> so how many nitrogens do we have though? Two. So you'd have to multiply that by two. Okay. Yeah. And that gets ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for H. That would be one. One. And how many do we have? Two as well. Exactly. So that would be two. Yes. And now we add them together. And the total is twelve. Yes. Alright. And now we have to make our Lewis structure. We start with our central atom, the ends. Uh -huh. Then we create the bonds. Uh, there would be two of them, right? Because it's nitrogen. Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. And then. Wouldn't hydrogen also come off this way as well? Yes. Exactly. Very well done. But then we need our lone pairs mm -hmm. because it wouldn't follow the octet rule if it was not there. Yeah. And what we do is we just add them right on top the end. So like, so? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so then it would be two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think the students are really grasping the content this semester. I think they're going to do well on the final. I agree. Mm -hmm. But I think it's time for a partner quiz. <laughs> I think after all the help from Lewis and Structure, we're finally able to figure out how to do the Lewis structure for acetylene. I think we've got it. What do we start with? Uh, we definitely have to figure out the valence electrons. Okay, true. So C has four, and there are two of them. Mm -hmm. So that's eight. Okay, and H has one, but since there's also two of them, that's two. Okay, so the total is 10. Okay, so first we have to do our central atom, which is C. Definitely. But there's also two another C. Exactly. Okay. We and also have two H's. An H and an H. Now we draw the bonds. But C's, to fill their octet, they each need four. So would there be three in between two of them? I think it's a triple bond. I think so too. Lewis and structure, is that right? Brilliant. Great job. You discovered a triple bond. Don't forget about your line angle structure, students. It will cost you several points. And let's all pass the final. Okay, 
So to draw this line angle structure, you do this. You attach a CL to it. The carbon's gonna be here. Draw another line, put your CL there, and then there's two hydrogens coming off of it. Voila. For this one, the line angle structure is simply that. It was an honor to teach you all today. I'm so grateful for our students, mm -hmm. aren't we? Yeah. Angels. Um, angels. Angels. Perfect. They never interrupt during class. Um, so basically today, um, I want you guys to take away that um, Lewis structure is a way of representing the bonds between um, atoms and molecules through diagrams and possibly the lone pairs that are present. Um, keep in mind balance electrons, your bonding, um, and how many bonds you should have and whether those are sigma or pi. Um, yes, way to go.